Hello there, and welcome back to episode 5 of my early Age Vanheim gameplay series for Dominion 6. Today we got to break a siege on a, uh, on a fort. That's what we got to do. So, in that regard, well, we got one army closing on in from this direction. Should probably get some meat while we're stopping on by here. And we definitely want to counterattack at some point. Here in Lombaria, we got a pretty nice arrangement of uh, just people that we can send in. And I, I want to see what happens if I just send in a glob of my dudes into that. I mean, Behemoth's Rest has been attacked by a swarm of cavalry people, no mages. And these Soromadian Amazons, they are just some medium infantry. They got no magic backup and nothing. And I got the slight hope that, uh, well, let's do this like that. That if we rack up both stacks together, we might be just getting things out under control. Just like that. Because I'm really tired of that little inv invasion thing strolling around in my premises. I really dislike that. So, on the other end, Fune and Half Done are closing on in to come with even more reinforcements. But tell you what we're going to do. I want to go towards Lanka with these guys. Lanka ain't done yet. Lanka is just the next uh, step on our list. And yeah, I know that we're going to need this area as well. Otherwise, the AI will just uh, fall into our flanks then from there. So, let's see. We got an attack here at Behemoth's Rest. I sincerely... Oh, sheesh. Yeah, well, I sincerely hope that... Highwoods is uh, holding out. This location here is really unfavorable in so many regards. I don't want to send away Gunlaug's troops here for, uh, from Thornwoods, though. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I have a way better idea. We're going to spank them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fall into their flank. They're foolish enough to let us in there. And so, what could our commander do? Well, not too much because he's just a small commander. Well, whatever. We're, uh... We're going to go for that one. That should be okay. And... Research-wise, Alt-5 is at hand, so storms are summonable now. Awesome. So let's go for Construction-5 next. Okay, so battles, Behemoth's Rest. I'm really concerned that this will backfire horribly on me. But let's see. Oh, never mind. The uh, Sauromadians have moved their the bulk of their troops away already. So, Thornwoods. At Thornwoods, we're being attacked by a pretty decent-sized cavalry squad. So these guys, they don't come with too many arches. The Sauromadian arches are the biggest concern here in that regard. So let's see how that'll go down. We got here mostly Huskarls. Not the really good Von Harry's. So this is uh, this is the B team. And you really realize you really notice it. They got a swarm of mounted arches as well. It's really bothersome. But, uh, well, yeah, we got routed by the uh, permanent arrow fire. Dang it. This is, uh, this is exactly what I, uh, what I expected to happen. <sighs> yeah, well. So, they successfully retreated to Griffin Rock, though. So, it's not all lost. Not by far. So we now know that the cavalry of these guys is quite a trouble. And we've been attacked in Verdlin. So what's Verdlin? And should we be interested in that? That's a small skirmish party on their side. Oh, well, let's see if our indies can hold that. So we get some mist forms into our, uh, into our uh, thing here. 
part of our troops is already routing. Why are you routing, you fools? Jeez. Must be all the undead stuff that, that the enemy is fielding against us. So, yeah, I... I haven't fully understood what the enemy's uh, troops are fielding here. Uh, do they have fear spreaders, or...? Well... Let's go into the uh, unit overview. Retreated. So... Did any of you just uh, give me a good reason why you did retreat? <laughs> Most of you were dead. Well, really hard to tell what the hell uh, did trigger that huge retreat spike there. But I mean, the army wasn't small either. It's been mostly undead. The Asara of their side really did kick in quite hard. So, yeah. I sadly cannot really see what did do the routing. Probably too many losses. That's the only thing that I can uh, really... Uh, I really can uh, think of. So, Ogwoods. Yeah, they're... Uh, it's just the same uh, little pilfering party that now goes uh, goes da goes downtown in my realms but I mean we are now going for sort of an interception thing so our walls are damaged the thing is this is not a uh, oh this has been not too much of a big threat jeez they racked up a lot of troops this will be an exciting battle so that does show me one thing though I won't be putting Fune and Havdan towards Lanka. We really have more pressing matters to deal with now. So Gunlauk can join us in uh, in the Battle of Nysia, and then we can break the siege, hopefully. All right. In the meantime, Elder Hill has a lot of troops on its site. We got. These guys here, with a lot of Van Harry's. So we're going to put these fellas here into a line formation in front of the Van Harry's. And uh, yeah, whatever, we're going to put this down like that. And uh, who got the Huskarls? There we go. So yeah, that should work out somehow. And let's uh, take back Oaklands while we're at it. And let's see. So we got quite a couple of troops in Lombaria sitting around doing nothing. We got Strong Bay troops. There's a lot of meat racking up there. So we probably should pick up these guys and bring them to another front where they can matter. So... Ipernia can recruit more, and we definitely want to build bigger fortresses here. Ooh, so, we'll see how that'll go down now. So, a battle in Oaklands. I bet that this is again a, a joke of a fight. Yeah, that's just an indie province defenders. I just realized, though, that this showed me one thing that I wanted to do differently. The Huskarls can just go in. They don't need to hold. There is no need to. So, Nysia has been attacked. It's the same hate ball that goes roaming around, but now they met a real, bat a real battle party. Let's go. Well, now I'm looking forward to this. I think they're going to be battered now. This is just a small expeditionary force. This is not a real army. Not even closely. But it is quite exciting to see what's going down here. So, the both sides here are just uh, playing back and forth. Nobody's really killing anybody, except for my herdmen starting to pierce through the lines now. And now the Van Harry's get in front. So, one thing is clearly noticeable. Those Oyarpadas have a 
extremely high defense skill alongside with the Androfag. So we are winning this due to swarming them, mostly, and due to the fact that they have a hard time hitting us. But all in all, man, those are darn harsh troops. I didn't expect them to be that brutal, but, uh, well, they're losing ground here, totally. I'm very curious to see now in the aftermath how much did it cost that to take down this little expeditionary force. They were quite brutal, but uh, what did we lose? A couple of herdmen, which is totally fine. Yeah, brilliant. We only lost the people that we were expecting to lose. But this also showed me that these guys are a really, really... Uh, really a force to be reckoned with, but uh, yeah, Nysia, that didn't go down too well for them. So, Ipernia, we're uh, being attacked by a uh, decent Agarthan strike force here. Jeez, that's not going down well this time. I think we made them angry the other time, and now we're getting the... Uh, we're getting to pay for that. So, yeah. I think we're being overrun here by big, by big giant dudes. Dang it! So that one, we did, we did strike a dent into their forces. This is something we need to clean up, otherwise they will siege it down. Agarthans are really strong at sieging. This is one thing that we really need to take an eye on. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked them. <laughs> I was such a fool, admittedly. Okay. So here we go with a small strike force, but uh, yeah, we're just overrunning them. That's been not really a fight. That's been just provincial defenders. And behemoth rest, so... Um... Yeah... I, I think we can stick that. Bye-bye, warrior sorceress. She was accompanied by shades, though, but, uh, yeah. So, Ogwoods, Bad Omens, Epernia, being sieged. Okay, Highwoods is breached, so... But at the same time, you see, the Battle of Highwoods is now pretty much joined, as we got a huge army that can pour in from all directions here and tell you what we're going to take from Grimna's force and attack them on the other flank here while we're at it. So we're breaking the siege there but uh, what to do about this? I, I don't believe that Swafner and uh, his uh, low-grade troops here are able to break the siege just like that. So well we're we're still going to try it. I mean what can I do after all? We could go with Gunlauk's troops there as well, but uh, I think we should join the battle there. This is quite the honey doodle, this uh, donned Agartha attack there. I mean, in all honesty, I brought that on myself. I'm well aware of that. Hey, my alter ego. My imprisoned little dwarf guy. Look at him go, five air. We're going to have some fun with storm summoning here. That's what we're going to do. Hell yeah. So he ain't a commander. I just realized that uh, <laughs> he can do many things, but not that. And I I just realized that I had several turns of undistributed alquils. No. Sometimes that micro here in the game is uh, just killing me in all honesty. But whatever. So... Evocation will hit level 5 any moment, too. So, let's see. We could use Cloud Trapeze. Oh, well, that's one thing. We're not interested in any ranged attacks whatsoever. It's really not our business. Thaumaturgy? Well, nah. Is there any high-end thing up ahead there that I totally want to have? Gift of Displacement. That's really powerful. Arrowfend, Hawk Warriors. Yeah, I think we're going to dip deeper into alteration and evocation. 
because down here, well, okay, perpetual storm, thunderstorm. Hmm. I don't think we need to go that much deeper down the line there. I think evocation, we are pretty much done, so we could go for conjuration after that. So alteration, I really, really want that. Uh, let's filter it down. I want that arrow fend and, and preferably army of mist. So we're going to go downstairs with the alteration tree there. And well, that's a really nice battle summon. But maybe we should go for Conjuration 5 after that, too. So. Hmm. Well, well. We got a decent chunk of troops back here in Vonheim, too. But up until then, let's just uh, see how our plans go down. So, big battle in high woods, I assume. So, we're attacking the sieging forces, and, uh, yeah. That's quite a lot of dudes. Let's see how that'll go down. Alright, there's some cavalry flanking us. But they're being met by our Van Harry's in the back line. What are these dudes? Sea dogs. Well, let's see. I mean, all in all, my troops are really hard to take down. We have a cluster of Androfac cavalry here, but I think uh, these guys have by far not that much of a resilient uh, lineup than we have. All right, let's speed that up a little bit and see where the trend goes. That uh, backbone of cavalry archers, though, I could have played that way better by putting a uh, small squadron of Van Harry's uh, into the uh, flank, pushing in there and attacking them from the side. I think we could have uh, cut our losses in that battle dramatically. We would have lost way, wor way uh, few more, way less people. But, uh, well... I'm okay with that. We lost a couple of herdmen. These guys are tough as nails. But uh, what did the enemy lose? We took down many of their uh, troops. That has been only 26 Androfac cavalrists. Yeah. Mostly siege units to bring up more, uh, more oomph. But well. So... What the hell just went down in Ibernia? Oh my god, they got quite some clutter there. What's that? Troglodytes. Alright. So, yeah, that looked scary. Good thing that I have a spare army to take care of that. Ah, well, that's just province defenders. And Ashington being attacked by Lanka. Yeah, I mean, Lanka is now pushing slowly back. That's been to be expected. I mean, this is hardly a fight. I don't think that my uh, little Von Hersey here can't do anything. Nah. He didn't really achieve anything. Wasn't to be expected, though. So, Strong Bay has been struck by a blight. Rimmeyer gained a fortification... Wow. Did this thing just spontaneously develop a fortification? I think that's what happened. Brilliant. Troops are always a good thing. So, yeah. Apernia will be overrun. That's what I've been talking about. That's uh, that's Agartha, you know, my men. These guys are just uh, siege machines. And uh, we only got our little guy Swafner here. And, uh, well, we got a huge army here now sitting in front of, uh, Soromedia. But, uh, well, 
I just lost one of my fortresses in return. I hate this. This is not a cool situation to be in. Not at all. I mean, the good news, I guess, is that we still got um, everything here, what we, uh, what we started with. Got a big fat army ready to uh, stomp down Sol Romadia. But uh, yeah, what about these guys? I really dislike what is happening there. Well, in the meantime, let's take down some Sol Romadian uh, provinces. And, well, I think it is just time to accept that we've lost that Epernia province. End of the line. So we're going to stack up Gunlauk and Vozut with troops, so 83 people. And we're going to start raiding the uh, Sauromadians now in return. And they're going to fall back to high woods if necessary. While I, yeah, well, I'm a little bit afraid that uh, Chadwick's troops are not going to be sufficient for what we're uh, facing here in Ibernia. And so we're going to send them uh, over to help add gold mountains. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Meanwhile, we have still replacement troops here. So we can use Fjorn and, and Halfdan here. And yeah, my man Svafnir will most likely die. So. What do we have still? Is there still some... Ha! You see? I'm learning. Okay, let's see how that'll go down. So I'm pretty sure that Ipernia will fall. And I gotta accept that I uh, did a horrible mistake there. So uh, Ubar and Pyrene are uh, deucing it out. And we're being attacked in Altgold. All right. It's again a, just a small expeditionary force, but we got no provincial defenders there. So that'll suck. And Zonria is being uh, thundered by the Lunkans as well. Yeah, we're uh, being attacked from all sides. That's unfun. But nah. As a matter of fact, it's a pretty cool scenario. Alright. So, it's pretty clear that I need to do something about the Lanka troops there as well. Because uh, they, they won't go away by themselves, I suppose. But yeah, we're, uh, we're just taking them down here in Golem range. We did lose a couple of ours, though. But, uh, well... Then we got a battle at Turadir. Um, where's that? Ah. So, yeah, that's just a couple of provincial defenders. Still able to take down my dudes there. On the, uh, one of my dudes there. So, let's see how bad we, uh, we did. I mean, that is, uh, Agartha can be quite, uh, scary. We took down their troglodytes. They're buffing up their troops quite a lot. Well, surprisingly enough, we held them quite long. But I think, uh, yeah, they did break through after all. But not without quite substantial losses, I gotta say. They're still not capable. They, they, it took them quite a long time to uh, take down my uh, my commander back there. They lost most of their troops. So, well, we did fight not too bad here, I guess. 
but well, nature gems, air gems, defense, province income, and gold mountains fortress has been completed. Wonderful. So yeah, quite unfortunate, but uh, well, it ain't the end of the world. That's uh, that's for sure. Whatever they want to do, we can now go between that with our troops. I'm quite okay with that. Sometimes you have to take a uh, take a dent into your plans. So we're taking down Baguloth. As this is a temple of theirs, so it's a uh, valuable infrastructure. And with the troops at Elder Hill, well, it's only 29, so Lombaria ain't got as many troops either. But if the AI now decides to hit town here somewhere along these lines, we might be able to come back at them, as we have a fairly good amount of uh, troops stacked up here. So what we're going to need is a hero. Is there finally a Air 3 mage here around these? No. They're just not. It's such a sad thing. Anyways. My man Balder. No, not my man Balder. I want to pick up somebody without a... Uh, without one of these uh, quills. They are all quilled up. Seriously? I've been a busy boy, obviously. So I got Vanadrot with the uh, all quilts. Yeah, whatever. It's uh, it's okay. So I think this bad boy here, that's one. Okay. Attack closest enemy, advanced cost spells, yada yada yada. We are going to give him uh, this, and well, we're gonna send this army over to Zonria and see what that'll do. All right, let's see. What's Hofton exactly doing here? Ah, he's uh, he's there before the others are. He's faster than the rest of the army, so he can't do that. Okay. Good oh. I'd say let's go. Oh no, I still have a lot of money left, so we should definitely invest into some fortifications here extra. At least spend a part of that money. I mean, I know that I'm still not using the full potential of my gameplay here, but I think I'm already doing better than with Naba. At least that, you know? God's Tomb Mountains. So Agartha is really on a roll here. Um, Yeah, we, we don't need to check that out. Cedarwood Forest. So there's that uh, pilfery troop of the uh, Lankans. You can't do anything about that, in all honesty. It's just what it is. So, well, that's a little bit cheap from the Soromadians. So let's see if my Von Harry can, uh, can do something about that. I mean, at the end of the day, he can crank out a lot of uh, illusions and all, but no. He got killed by syllables of death. Say... Is there a... Uh, is that a prophet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just very confused for a moment that a simple commander can do such tricks, but yeah. That's been a prophet. And we took down an Atavi cha uh, chieftain. Slap. Alrighty, here we go. So that's a real battle. I like these. So there's some cavalry. Soromedia is a cavalry and archery. So, uh, yeah. 
We're pretty much overrunning them, though. As most of their arrow fire is just being uh, countered by our stuff. So I think the uh, research in the alteration way is totally the uh, way to go. As with the alteration spells, we can pretty much uh, Im immunize ourselves against the ranged attacks. And, uh, well, that'll take a lot of their power from them. There we go. So, what did we lose? Two Von Heris, 16 Hoskarls, but these are really quickly replaced, considering that we really took a uh, heavy blow on the Sauromadian mil military with that. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, still this, uh, this Agarthan problem roaming through our lands. <laughs> but on the positive side, well, we now got a strike force in place, two of them actually. And uh, yeah, we can send one portion of our army back to uh, the defense against Agartha. And the other one, we're, uh, we're going to skirmish on the uh, Sauromadian borders now. And let's see. Our man Goomer. We're going to take him into this direction as I see where Lanka is uh, slowly taking its, uh, its stride. It's quite annoying, but I gotta deal with that. Because otherwise Lanka will just uh, take the, the borderline back. And that would be quite annoying for me. As I've taken such a uh, such intense work to uh, to have that after all, you know. Okay, taking into this a couple of reinforcements. And let's see. We're going to attack Parnia here. That's what we're going to do. And my man Fume is going to stop them here in their stride. And Hofton will, of course, follow. Okay. So I guess this will be the last turn for this episode, and then we're going to continue next time. But first, let's see what will happen. So, Baguloth. I bet that the uh, province that I left open has been overran by... Uh, Cheap stuff from Soromedia again. Yep, that's what happened. We did take Dano. Good job. So, at Winter Peaks, I bet the Lanka dudes are still doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. Just a small troop taking its uh, stroll. Strong Bay. So, Agartha is now sieging Strong Bay. They don't have any provincial defenders, so they got overrun, obviously. And at Gollum range, I think we're just overrunning other provincial defenders. Ah, oh, well, sort of. Couple of undead, bear tribe warriors. Nah, nah, that's no real fight. So, that's just a couple of long dead and uh, nothing, uh, nothing special. So, God's two mountains. Let's see how we fare against these creatures now. So, yeah, that's a pretty large army of theirs. Jeez, they're so scary. I didn't expect them to be so scary. But uh, clapping out all these mist forms is really troublesome for the Agarthans. The thing about the Agarthans is they are bad at hitting stuff. They have an inherently low attack range, uh, skill, so... Yeah, it might be that my troops are just uh, really, really hard to deal with for the uh, for these blokes. Yeah, that was been not really a battle. Titan steps. So, Agartha is attacking me here with a really tiny force of uh, what's that? One Mount King. They're really doing it with a really, really small strike force. Dude's even not even geared out with anything. But yeah, I mean, they're swarming me, so that works, I guess. So... Yeah, the siege is... Uh... What? So I'm uh, I, I'm frankly shocked how quickly these guys can take down a, a fort like that, but uh, well, 
we're going to continue next time. The Agarthan invasion is going to be halted as well as the uh, Lankan one as we have now a couple of troops in our pos in position here. We're now skirmishing a little bit back and forth, but we're also racking up more troops every turn, so it should be fine. It should be fine. So, thanks for watching you all. It's been a very exciting one. Lots of uh, back and forth and nice battles. I hope you enjoy. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and check out the description box full of cool links. There's Discord where you can check out other Dominions players, amongst uh, me of course, and there is uh, my Twitch channel where I stream on Fridays and Sundays in the evening hours of the Middle European time zone, and of course there's Patreon, Paypal, and Buy Me a Coffee, and my YouTube channel, ship members, YouTube membership system. So if you want to spend some dollars on the content because you think it's worth it, I'd be very, very delighted. If not, thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate a big thanks to the supporters and a big thanks to you as you watch this video up until the, until the very end, and I appreciate it. See you all next time. Bye-bye.